Good morning, plumbers. As you know, we do everyday plumbing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And for today, today's plumbing adventure, CB2 is showing up here at the job. He's meeting me here, and we're gonna install some baseboard heat. He's never, Whew, check that. I haven't done a, ba a full complete baseboard job in I can't tell you how many years. So we're gonna run through this for him get the shots if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button we truly appreciate it follow this journey as I train my two sons the plumbing apprentices we all know it's gonna be a long one but well worth it because we know plumbing ain't going nowhere we'll see you inside good morning CB good morning. are you ready CB here's what we're doing we're putting in baseboard and what you do is this. As you see, the cement, the, the finished floor is not in yet, which is going to be tile or some type of wood floor, and that's quarter inch thick with some underlayment. So what we always do is we always set up the baseboard, which is already unboxed, on a piece of three quarter pine or some type of uh, wood to raise it up. Mm -hmm. So you can finish under the thing for you, because it's not a perfect world and we didn't fit through the floor yet. I marked the suds on a, on a concrete floor before they sheet rocked. One, two, three, four, all the way down. And we're just doing this one room, so then we gotta set the baseboard, the enclosure. Go like so, and I want this three inches off the wall. Hold that in for me. Just hold it against the wall. Three inches off the wall. All right, back. Get one set. Look, at the wall, right under the enclosure, nice and high. It's on the stud, one and high and one low. Hand my tray, please. I get one screw and then I can let go. Just like so. Alright. And it's sitting on the wood. I got the studs marked. And that's that. So now I go through and I just do this like so. I'll go through. Oh. Use my awl. Hi. To mark. Watch that one looks off. Why is it? That looks off. Here's the stud. Yeah, that one's off. Slide it over. That was snug it up. I mean, three, four to six screws on a piece. This is a piece six foot long, all right, y'all? You don't have to do every stud. You just want to not fall. Exactly. Be nice and tight. You probably get away with just four here. I don't like cutting pieces, but it seems on this job so far, we're cutting everything. So I need a piece of baseboard uh, we'll call it 39 inches. This is a concrete floor, so I want to go maximum element. Okay. Now I like to use this to cut baseboard, which I just started doing, but I don't recommend it for a couple reasons. You gotta be experienced at it. And you see me cut, I'm cutting, I'm cutting corners here by leaving the uh, louver in place. But look at this nice cut. It cuts really nice. Usually you got cut it with snips, but I'm cheating. So don't do this at home unless you feel super confident with the saw and you got some strength behind your technique. You can't get a better cut 
with snips. Now, I've never used a bandsaw, so if you guys can recommend a better way to cut this, especially when it's a foot over, you know what I'm saying? If not, you gotta kill yourself, and I kinda like this, but is it the best way, the safest way? No. Look, right here, I measure, see I did this weird piece of trim here. Yeah. So we're gonna just leave like an inch space on the end. I use three inch wall ends, and then we'll use a, a wall end for here too, and I'll show you them when we, when we trim out this room. It comes pre-scratched in the supply house. So look, we got our boards back up, and this is a three foot section. Four screws is plenty. Around the stub mark, see my pencil mark down there? And I'm gonna come down here, same thing. All of my foot's hold it in place. And you, you can't hurry up with baseboard, dude. I proved it to myself yesterday. And uh, oh, you to it's just, you can't hurry up. There's so many moving parts. I like to finish a room. Now, I didn't really hit nothing there. I don't know what's marked on the floor, but that's definitely wrong. So now I'm gonna add, that sounds solid. You can tell when something doesn't hit that's wood. Good. It should suck up. Now, that sounded better. But yeah, so we'll complete the room before we leave because we still got to cut the, the element and mm -hmm. we still got to cut the cover and then we'll trim it out. And this room will be complete. A lot of moving parts. Four or five step process. Huh? Four or five step process. Yeah. And guess what I'm doing? A lot of soldering. We did our last base for a job. I was told that I should install these inserts, these stiffeners. These actually go inside the baseboard side of the 90, like so. This is a regular, this is a regular pipe, so I could actually go like so, right? So you go like so, put this stiffener inside the baseboard. Where's my hammer? snugs up because the copper is so thin here on baseboard heat thinner than them so the Viega wants you to use these stiffeners on this and it's this way it presses and has some beef behind it so we're going to go ahead and use it Chuck because I don't want to solder here in this corner but I got to solder down there anything to get the job done so this element here this first one doesn't have to be cut we're going to go to service, pro press service, uh, 45. This is it right here. There it is. You can actually pro press that up, okay? Because that's actually ready to go. Okay. Press that up, and I'm going to set you up down here. Right here. Go ahead, go ahead, finish up. I could actually prefab a 90 and make it over here, the presses, because you can't get the pro press in this corner mm -hmm. because it's so tight. But I don't want to take away element because it's a concrete basement floor. So that's why I'm going to go max element in here because it's going to be cold. As you see, we're half a basement down. Now CB, what I'm doing here, I'm going to solder this corner, right? Mm -hmm. Clean me up a 90 here. When you, do, when you sweat, you go pipe to pipe on a measurement. So I'm gonna need a measurement of element. You see this, look, pro press is different. See how it goes, this pipe, your measurement goes right to the fitting. Mm -hmm. So 
So that's why I can go like this. Pipe to my measurement, which is we're gonna call 48 and three quarter. That's a piece of element I need, 48 and three quarter. Peel these off so I can put it together and solder. I'm going to solder this coupling because I forgot to cut that end off. If not, I would have pressed it. So we'll solder two joints. Plus, please. Getting anyway. Oh, was that the gold one? I was like bent. Or... Yeah, I like the cross tech better. All right, that's ready. I measured the pipe, so it's ready. Ready to go. Give me a three quarter ninety. Watch this joker right out. And again, you gotta be careful not to burn the wall. And I'll show you what I do. This is CB2's first legit baseboard job. We put a couple pieces before, but this is uh, now you see why I really come pro pressing here, dude. Yeah, I'll have to lose some of the element and make the couplings out here pre a 90. Made no sense, let's just solder it and be real plumbers, <laughs> not the modern day plumber. All right, so that's ready to go. So we'll solder that up. Have a few plates. Right in front of the drill box to have flux dripped on it. Uh, well, yeah, heat, uh, a heat shield and a. Uh, all right. Awesome. Let's keep the mess down by doing this. Let's check out my new torch. Yeah. I didn't need that. Nah, he's got his horn. Oh, look at that. Now I'll tell you what, on, on baseboard heat, yeah. you don't need a lot of heat. It's so thin. Watch. Oh, the copper? Yeah. Keep the flame low, you don't want to burn the wall through the metal. And as you see the flux is dripping on this pan. See it's already done. Let it cool. Moving on down. Another reason I don't like soldering. One of our day firemen by night. Oh god. Fireman. I'm a fireman, yeah. Huh. Nice and low flame, Chucky. Watch what I do. Right against the heat shield. Can't blast it with heat, trying to hurry up. And again, the reason I'm doing this is because I can't progress it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a new brush. 
This is why I don't mess right here. Look at all this, man. Smoke City. I thought about this overnight. Rigid sells this new tool. It's a, a side mount. It's like a little jaw and you use a, the, it's like doing two, doing inch and a quarter. Mega press. Like, mega press, yeah. yeah. They make a small set, so now I gotta invest in that because that would definitely work here, I believe. Yeah, you could like hit 90. Tight spots, yeah. yeah. So, another tool I gotta buy, Rigid. Thank you. The last thing you do is just wipe it down, dude. All right. All right you ready? All cleaned up? Oh. Go. Look at that, no burn mark, no mess. Wipe it down. this corner, all right? Just had a nice phone call from a fellow plumber. We want to remain anonymous, giving us a nice lesson. I gotta properly name my tools. No offense taken whatsoever from the guy I'm here to teach. And I don't want to teach the wrong stuff, so plumber, I appreciate you. Alright, CB. Here we go. Press this up, and I'll trim it out with you, and we'll give you your own room to do it. Room. You got all three things, right? Yeah. Yeah, I heard three presses. All right, cool. Here's what we do. On trim, both sides are the same on Hayden. So what I like to do is this. Hook the bottom, right? Pull it up and snap it in. I already put that one on, but look. If you try to go this way, you have an opportunity. Now I'm going to switch this quick. What's this? Oh, it's nothing you have an opportunity to actually pull the off, off the wall. Now, I personally like using these wall, wall ends for the, the coupling, because it looks nice, instead of what they give you. This way it's complete personal preference, instead of one of the couplings you throw in the trash. Yeah, Yeah, and then this is the inside corner. Same thing on this one, look. You don't want to scratch the wall. So you pull the base spray out just a little bit and then snap this in. Oh. Okay? So 
So go ahead and snap that one on, just like I showed you. center there's left caps and right caps which I have two for uh, dead ends that you can see so just pull this out just a little bit so you don't scratch the paint you can actually do the top for yeah, yeah. yeah. like I got two screws around the end there. yeah there you go push all the way down the baseboard on top there you go All right, there it is. This room is completely done now. Finished, ready to go. Of course, we got to check for leaks, which we're going to purge it. That's another. That's what we get complete. But well, there you have it. Took CB2 on his first baseboard job. Got a few shots. Too much baseboard to film the whole job. We're going to get bits and pieces out of there. And, uh, you know, he's coming along. While I was there working, I had one of our members of the plumbing channel call me up, want to remain anonymous, point a couple of things out that I say, like as far as a pipe cutter, it's actually a tubing cutter. And this is all aimed towards the apprentices. Also, me calling it a hot water heater, which I've been well aware of this especially since i've been doing the channel from all the guys out there that i'm, I'm going to a uh, water heater rehab trying to drop the hot on the hot water heater which is coming along i am almost there it's a water heater and i got a nice phone call from an old retired plumber inspector out of Northeast. Uh, and the funny part is, I answered my phone because I had, for some reason, I had a feeling it was a member. And I wanted to thank him for calling me up. And uh, his son's a fireman, also looking forward to getting out of the job like myself. Uh, I got four more years to go on the fire farm. But anyway, I appreciate any, any good criticism to help teach these young bucks. If I'm using wrong terminology, which I know I do, especially if I start to mumble and I'm thinking a mile a minute and 
it's all good and I, I i truly appreciate that phone call it was good it was actually a, a good conversation and I, I thank you for calling me bro appreciate it and with that and everyone have a great weekend buckle down because as the weatherman would say it's going to get cold the polar vortex is coming what does that even mean all right folks see you at the next one adios